Today I got a total of three mystery boxes from the company at that Spider-Man booth. Each one of these boxes is $30 shipped, and they include around five comic books in each box. Some of them will have variant covers, some hard to find covers, um, and there's always what they call the grand prize. And that could be something pretty epic, like some months or some weeks, they've done grand prizes like Spider-Man 129, the first parents of Punisher, they've done the first Daredevil, they've done the first Venoms, I mean, they've done uh, the first Silver Surfer. They've done some pretty epic grand prizes every single time. And uh, I got out one my, myself last year, and it was freaking awesome. And I've actually seen quite a few people get out some pretty big grand prizes from this company. So that's kind of like your goal is to spend 30 bucks and get out something worth like, you know, $500. But it's, it's rare when it happens, but it does happen. Somebody's got to win it. So that's what it looks like on the inside. You open it up. It says, I feel like Peter, which is Peter Parker, which is Spider-Man. 30 bucks. Here we go. Five books in each one. We'll go, I think actually the front, the front to back. First one. Well, if I can get this bubble wrap out of the way. First one. Can the camera see that? No. Okay. First one, Deceased number three. Looks like this is uh, some kind of a variant cover. They actually put an estimation of value on a lot of the bigger hit comics. They're saying it's worth about 15 bucks. They're usually a little bit high, 10, 20% high. This is probably honestly worth probably between 10, 10, 12, maybe as high as 15. So I'd probably say this is probably actually more like 10 bucks, I bet. That's a cool cover though. I like the cover. Kind of like a dead uh, Batgirl kind of look to it cool cover I like it next black jack catch them number one this is a number one comic I actually do collect issue number one of like new runs of comics I actually do not have this one so I actually will definitely add this one to my collection because it is a number one you never know what comics might be optioned as a TV show down the line like The Witcher Walking Dead and so on. They were all comics before they were TV sh or of course The Witcher was a video game then comic then TV show. But yeah, cool. I like it. Next. Oh, we got an older one. The Incredible Hulk number 394. This like this is probably going to be what early 90s says um third anniversary anniversary 1992 introducing trauma looks like this must be the first appearance of trauma in this book that's kind of cool older book and pretty good condition a few small spine ticks on it but nothing major next thanos legacy we got a variant cover it says it's worth about 15 dollars this is thanos can't see through there. Thanos number. Carefully open it up. Well, the stickers don't really tear that easily on the back of these. Thanos number. Oh, it's a Thanos number one, actually. Thanos number. Thanos legacy number one. Looks like a variant cover. Probably worth about 10 bucks or so. And here's the last one. Cool cover on that. Looks like a red goblin, possibly possible red goblin virgin variant code says worth about 30 bucks so it's probably worth about 20 that's a nice hit though so like about 20 30 35 40 i say it's actually this first box i'd say it's probably worth about 50 bucks i got for 30 dollars ship so first box i say was a big win good value in that first box i'm happy with the contents of the first box we got two more to go still we're not done yet next one $30 shipped. Yeah, still waiting for that day. I pull it out, and it is Amazing Fancy number 15, even though I don't think they've ever done a book that big in these, because that's that's a pretty big one. Okay. Right there. Okay. We go from top to bottom. First one. Oh, that's a cool one. Amazing Spider-Man number nine variant. 
Said worth about fifteen dollars. Probably actually worth about ten. But here we go. Next one. Superwoman. Number seventeen. I don't know anything about this one, honestly. Anything like anything major about it? it Looks like probably just this is probably a common book. Probably worth like three or four, four bucks, some something, something like that. Superwoman. Next. Jupiter's Legacy. Number three. It's a Mark Miller one. Huh. Interesting cover. I don't know much about that one either. That was made by Image Comics. Number three. Probably worth you know three, two, three bucks. Next one. The X Men. Cool. This is X Men number one. Looks like a uh, a blank, like a sketch cover. So we're worth about. Actually, I actually already have this one. I bought it at my comic book shop the day it came out. Uh, it says it's worth ten bucks. I think I got mine for. I think I paid eight for it. So it's probably worth about eight, ten dollars or so. But yeah, that's still a nice one. I have two of that comic now. And here's the last one in this box. Box number two. Oh, nice. Amazing Spider-Man. Looks like, uh, what, a Mary Jane cover? And a uh, black cat on the side. This is a J. Scott Campbell variant cover. Worth about 25 bucks, it says. Probably worth about, honestly, probably about 15. So 15, 25, 30, 35. About $45 here, so that's not a bad value box. All these be worth probably about $45. I got it for $30 ship, so once again, I'm, I'm happy with that. Good value. I'm happy. We got one box left still. Not done yet. Last one. Hopefully something big. But, but you know, for thirty dollars shipped, you can't always. Man, come on, knife. You can't always get something big out of every single time. Just not possible. There we go. Last one. Box number three. Go front to back again. First one. Oh, nice. New Mutants, number 98. Kind of like a... It's not the actual 98. It's a, like a reissue of it with like a different... Like a sketch cover on it. So worth about 15 bucks. I know they actually... Released this number 98, you know, retro released it last year. So I'm guessing this is probably a variant cover to that release of it. And I actually have, uh, what, three or four copies of the actual new Mutants 98 now. I think I, I, think I have four. Three graded in a 9.8 and then one that, that's raw that will probably grade a 9.6 or 9.8. So yeah, that's a cool one. I, I like that one. It's nice. Next. New Superman. What is this? Don't know much about this. Number 18, End of an Era. Okay. New Superman. Different looking comic. Next. Doctor Who. Free comic book day 2018. So every single year they have free comic book day. I think it's in May every year. Where there's a whole bunch of uh, comic books that you can get for free from your local comic shops and some actually going pretty good value in the future this one i don't think really did much nothing really valuable happened in this comic that makes it any value on the open market but another comic next one oh nice immortal hulk number 19 this series of immortal hulk has been fantastic so far this is a variant cover of it done by can't tell. But yeah, variant cover, Hulk, Immortal, Immortal Hulk number 19. I actually have quite a few from this run of Immortal Hulk so far. And quite a few have held some pretty decent value. So yeah, I'm totally cool with that. Adding to my collection. And last one in all three boxes. We have... Oh, nice. Deadpool kills... Oh, the Marvel Universe again. Variant edition number one. Very cool cover. You got Deadpool killing Venom. It is a Tyler Kirkham cover. Very nice cover. This will definitely go into my collection. I, I actually do collect a, a lot of Deadpool. I'm a pretty big Deadpool fan. 
He's one of the most fun characters, I think, that's ever been created as Deadpool. But yeah, that's what I got for this box. This one I'd say probably about 20 bucks, 30, 35, 40. This one I'd say is probably worth about $50 box right here. So spent 30, got back about 50 bucks in value. So every single one of these boxes I got between 15 and 20 dollars back every single box. So value wise, it was good. Value was good. I got quite a few comics in these. I will be keeping for my own collection. Other ones, uh, you know, sell locally for, you know, two, three bucks a comic. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So that is that Spider-Man booze at $30 mystery box times three. So I'll see you next time with some more mystery boxes. I'm out.